What is up, guys? JP here, Tech here, the Puerto Rican, living in Japan, talking about tech, photography, videography, well, pretty much all the tech we use in our life. And you know how we do. We like to use things for cheap or better yet, free. But in today's video, it's going to be anything but cheap. We're talking about that big guy right there. Yes, Fujifilm's GFX Eterna cinema camera. And actually, Fujifilm doesn't call it a cinema camera. They call it an feeling camera. I forgot the exact word they said. I'll probably plaster on the screen as I'm, you're watching the video. But the CEO from Fujifilm didn't want to call this a cinema camera because we're just capturing emotions and feelings. And, you know, Fujifilm is known for that, for capturing uh, great imagery and colors and filmic style due to their film simulations. And when it comes to colors and film stock, Fujifilm know their things. And it's amazing how they transition from film to digital imagery, but still keep the same vibe. And yeah, Fujifilms love that. I love it. I'm shooting with Eterna right now, straight out of the camera. And yeah, this is Eterna. Now today in this video, I'm just going to talk about one major concern I have with this camera. And it was brought out in the interview by Cine D. The interviewer asked a great question about the sensor and the processor, if it's the same as the GFX 102. Actually, the CEO from Fujifilm just concurred that, yes, it is the same sensor, the same processor, so you will have the same image. So basically, the videos you get out of the GFX 102 will look the exact same with this GFX Eterna. I know, that sounds pretty pretty bad especially if this camera is going to cost like eight thousand dollars and what that also means is my main concern is he actually the interviewer brought it up is so the rolling shutter and the slow sensor reading will come to this cinema lineup i'm sure that hurt deep inside the fujifilm ceo he actually just had to admit that it will probably <laughs> be there the same well he didn't say those exact same words but he just said the same imagery so yeah, guys, that is not that is not a good start. We haven't even gotten pro prototypes and demos out, and we already know it's going to have a rolling shutter problem. Now, this is where I want to flip it over to more optimistic and a positive side. And I hope Fujifilm, please, it's a huge sensor. It's a huge body. The guys of software, if you just give us options, alternative to get faster reading, even if it means cropping in the sensor, because from a medium format, cropping into a, like a full frame size is still great. Not a deal breaker at all. Even Super 35 sensor, APS-C size is still not a deal breaker. We do have the lenses, the glass out there to be able to deal with that crop. But just don't give us rolling shutter please i'm sure most users will accept if there's a slight rolling shutter shooting full sensor with the with the full readout it's impossible right now with the technology to have uh, fast readouts in such a large sensor but please just give us options to have really fast shooting speeds because the target market that you guys are going for you're going, you're going after the people that are making documentaries, actual films, uh, television, broadcasting, you know, people that might post this in, or upload this in streaming services. These are not for YouTubers doing headshots like this. We really need options and we need reliable shooting speed. That's it. Fujifilm, if you could do that, you're going to have a great uh, debut. Even though this all this sounds like a rehouse GFX 100 too. There's some advantages of actually rehousing that GFX 102 because the imagery, the colors are beautiful. But going with a cinema body, we have a few benefits, uh, amazing advantages of going with a mirrorless compact body or a hybrid camera body. You know, with the starting out with the connections, connections galore. You can see their connections everywhere on the front, on the sides, top back we got ethernet you have not only hdmi you got sdi it's amazing it's gonna be great fantastic connections you got i'm sure they're gonna have great connections for the audio as well i don't see an xlr connection in the images from fujifilm but i'm sure we will have just ability to get great audio and video from one body 
and not so many accessories like if you were to use the GFX 102. So that's one of the great things about having a cinema body. The other one being the cooling. You know, I see grills. It'll probably have an internal fan. It's going to help keep the temps down. So that means we're going to have, of course, longer record time. But not only that, they might be able to give us a, a modes that can shoot in faster readouts, meaning help reduce that rolling shutter. It's going to be great to shoot in those really uh, demanding modes for longer periods of time. And having the same session of processor as the GFX 102 is great for the company as, as a whole, because that means you will be able to shoot with two different bodies, a compact one for a compact scene, and have the big boy outside shooting as the A cam. So the GFX 102 can be the B cam, and the audience will not be able to tell the difference between which camera was shot. You know, everything else is a given. Just imagine having Eterna because that is the name of the camera, but being able to shoot in the film simulations that Fujifilm has, but in high bit codec, maybe even raw, whoo, that's gonna be fantastic. Do you know what that means? Not having to deal with 10, eight, 10 different uh, nodes because you're trying to get a look. You already have the look baked in the image straight out of the Fujifilm cinema camera. But you will have the flexibility of all that data, that codec in post. Yeah, that's going to be awesome if, if they actually do that. I just hope they do. I hope they bring the film simulations and don't cripple that mode, please. Don't cripple giving us just H.265 and whatever um, compressed codec. Allow the camera to capture great film simulations with deep, big codecs. And then oh, creators will be able to do so much with that. And not only that, it, you, the overall image is going to look so different than what everyone is doing with their logs. You know, Sony, the S logs, the cinema, whatever, you know, profiles and logs people keep coming out. It's not going to compare to having actual film stock digitally in raw. Oh, yeah. Well, time will tell. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but I just hope, you know, from what we have right now with their hybrid lineup, we have amazing look coming out of the camera. I just hope that the cinema camera can do that as well. And that will be so sweet. It will make a lot of Fujifilm users happy. But not only that, the audience will enjoy the actual images they're watching in the screen. So, guys, those are my two cents. I hope... The best for this GFX Eterna. I wish you success. And yeah, we're just going to have to see when it actually comes out and people start shooting with it. See what we get. Well, guys, I would love to hear your comments, your questions in the section down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in another video. Until then, happy shootings. I'm sorry about my voice. I have... Still getting over a cold. I have a congested voice, so I'm sorry about the quality of my voice. And also blame this AKG mic that is just records amazing audio. Yeah, just blame the mic. Peace.